Hello, welcome to my channel. This is If She So Pleases. Welcome to my wash day routine. Um, I get a lot of questions about how it starts. So here it is uh, with me on the couch choosing a deep conditioner. Deep conditioners are the only thing in my routine that actually change from week to week. Everything else stays the same. Well, relatively. Um, the reason for this is because I haven't found any new staples that I quite like yet. So um, until then, I'll still be choosing. So I start by undoing my braid that I usually wear throughout the week. My hair is three weeks old at this point, which is not usual. I usually wash my hair about once a week, um, but because of my busy schedule in the last few weeks, it just hasn't been done. So here it is. Um, it looks a bit dry, but overall, thanks to the products I use, the techniques I use, um, and the fact that I keep my hair away, really, it's not too bad. So once my hair is all out, I usually give it a bit of a massage, it's a bit itchy at this point, and um, give it a bit of a scratch really. Then after that, I will start to divide it into four sections, and then I will twist up each section. And the reason I do this is because I do not let my hair be loose, all of it loose at once at any point during my wash day. My hair is thick, extremely tangly, and so it just doesn't work for me. So what I like to do is keep it in at least four sections at all times. I'm about to shampoo my hair, and you won't see this because of course I'm going into the shower, so I'll just explain to you what that looks like. So, I will usually saturate my hair with water one section at a time, then I'll apply shampoo to my scalp, rub it in very well, and then I'll also smooth it down my hair as well. And the reason I do this is because I use a sheer butter base product, and so I make sure that I cleanse my hair quite regularly. If I do not, I can get things like product buildup, things like that, not very good. So this week I'm using this shampoo which is Aunt Jackie's Power Wash. Um, I've used it before. I'm not a product junkie anymore, I'm recovering. And so I usually just use one shampoo and then use the next one. So once I finish shampooing my hair, I fill my spray bottle up with warm water and I start to mix my deep conditioner. Today I'm using Aunt Jackie Soft and Sassy, just one of my collections so far. I think it's okay, not really my favorite. Then I'm also gonna add some table salt to my routine and I'll tell you why a little bit later. I'm also adding some extra virgin olive oil, which is my favorite oil, just to add some extra conditioning for my hair as well. So I start with the deep conditioner. Usually I use about a jar um, at a time. And then I will mix with extra virgin olive oil, as you can see here, maybe about four spoons. Then I will add about a spoon of table salt this time around. Now, I do not do this every week, only once every maybe six to eight weeks, and it just helps as an extra clarifier to get the oils and moisture out of your hair, which is of course why you can't do it often, but it just basically helps my hair to be a little bit cleaner over time, so that's why I use it. It also helps my curls pop. So after shampoo, my hair's quite dry, so I'll just divide it into two, spritz it with uh, some warm water like so, and then I'll just apply the deep conditioner. And while I'm applying the deep conditioning mix, I will then be separating my curls and detangling at the same time. I only use my fingers to detangle because it's the basically the most kind instrument I think you can use. I've used lots of combs, lots of detangling brushes, all the ones under the sun, but I think fingers definitely beats everything. I do not aim to have tangle-free hair because for my case it comes at a big cost. My hair tangles easily and so I allow it to clump. Um, I try not to have any mega tangles and those are the ones I'm taking out, but I don't really seem to need to have tangle-free hair if that makes sense. So here I am running my fingers through it. it, took about five minutes to detangle this section alone. I had a little bit of matting at the back as you can see, so I'll just separate that gently. If I'm unable to separate it, then I usually just use a comb to go through it. As you can see, this is what my hair looks like after the deep conditioner is applied and it's fully detangled. Um, it looks very, very much um, smooth and happy. Once I finish adding them up, I will put them all up into 
little balls and this is what it looks like when it's fully done. Then I will apply more water because um, I'm going for the deep conditioning treatment and in my opinion the wetter the better. I'm also adding some water into my shower cap as well just to make sure that my hair stays nice and moist under the heat that I'm about to apply. By the way, the shower cap and all the instruments I use in this video will be in the description below if you'd like to try them out as well. This is the hair that came out while I was detangling. It looks like a lot, but trust me when I say it isn't. Um, I've left my hair alone for three weeks. It is quite long and so that's the kind of amount that I would expect. Next, I'm applying my heat cap, which I will attach to my hair dryer. Um, I'll usually sit under there for about an hour, 30 minutes at the front, 30 minutes at the back. Here is my hair once the deep conditioning treatment is over. You can see it looks quite soft, the curls are popping, and it just looks happy overall. So I'll go in to shower, wash that off, and I'll be back. Then I'll work on one section at a time at so, and I'll gently undo the twist. This is a shot of my hair once again, and once the deep conditioner is removed, as you can see, it looks quite happy and soft. Um, quick length check, cheeky length check to see where we are. We are still indeed at tailbone length. The next part of my routine will be moisturising, so I start by spritzing my hair with warm water once again, making sure it's really well saturated because the moisture that I'm using now is what's going to be locked in my hair throughout the week. Um, usually in the summer I will only use a hair butter, but because winter's here and I'm in the UK this year, it's a lot colder than I'm used to and so my hair needs that extra moisture, so I'm just applying the kinky curly not today. Then on top of that I will use my if she so pleases length retention hair butter which is the hair butter that I've mixed and I've been using on my hair for years now um, to help me retain length and keep it moisturized for long periods of time if you would like to try my product very much appreciated you could find the link in the description below along with everything else so I just apply it quite generously to the whole of my hair um, as you can see the color does change but don't worry that will disappear a little bit later on. This is what my hair looks like when it is fully hydrated. Then I will go ahead and braid that section all the way to the bottom, being as careful as I can because when your hair is wet, it can be quite fragile. So I try not to pull too much on the braids. I also have a very tender head and so pulling on braids doesn't help me when I'm sleeping at night either. So I keep it quite loose. My hair will be in these braids until it's dry. At the ends of my hair, I use flexi rods. The reason for this, as I mentioned earlier, my hair is really, really tangly. I've tried braids, I've tried twists, but to be honest, none of them really stop my hair from tangling. Flexi rods have been the only thing that I've found that really help to keep my hair tangle free at the end. So if you're suffering from that as well, I would really recommend that you try them. Here's my hair fully done. Um, everything is all braided up at this point. You might notice the little tiny ones at the front just because I have a bit of a sensitive hairline and so I keep that separately so it's not pulling. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you would like to try any of the things that I use or the products that I use during this video, please find them in the links below. And if you have any questions about my hair routine, feel free to leave them down below and I'll make sure to answer them. Anything else you'd like me to make in the video, please let me know and have a great day. Thank you.